Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope you're feeling fantastic today. Um, I'm... You guys seem to really like it whenever I do these reviews, so I'm gonna keep doing them for right now. As for thumbnails, I'm not going to use... <laughs> Uh, the thumbnail art because I don't really want you guys to be clicking on the videos just for the thumbnail seriously That's just weird. Um So I'm not going to use one for this vi video. Uh, I I will bring them back because they're funny to me but uh, this is one of the scariest games out of all of them and uh, I it, It's still scary to this day. It has a reputation that holds pretty well with all that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. I, myself, in the first five minutes, like, how can you make a game so effing scary? Uh, in, from the words of the wise Scott Cawthon, just add teeth. Lots and lots of teeth. Brother, he killed me and I screamed and left the game. Please, Mr. Scott, stop scaring me with your silly robots. <laughs> Looking back, wouldn't it be funny if Scott Cawthon just said okay and ended the franchise just for one reviewer who was scared? Probably a nine-year-old. Just completely ended a billion-dollar franchise right there. Plush trap? Him, dude. How the you supposed to get him on the axe? Also, don't get me started on Nightmare Bonnie. You Nightmare Bonnie, you. I hope your family burns in a house fire, you wire piece of. <laughs> this man <laughs> has it out for Plush Trap. Plush Trap ain't surviving this guy on the streets. Scary, very scary game. I cried after the first night. That was kind of a lore review, so after the first night, we know who we play as. The Crying Child is a Steam reviewer, guys. I'm telling ya. Me no likey, too loud. And I actually have a solution for this one. Game doesn't support 1360 by 790 resolution. I'm getting spooked more by the black bars at the side of my monitor than the game itself. <laughs> hey man, I would be content. Back in the old days when you were playing uh, Atari on a box TV, the resolution looked a lot prettier than this. Sorry it kept crashing. I forgive you? Fetty 4. It's good until you play without headphones. Then it's very difficult. I mean, honestly, Cuphead's difficult if your fingers are amputated off. So, he has a point, I guess. I'm so disgusted. Personally, I've loved FNAF for so, so, so long. But tonight, after finding out the Aftons are British, I'm heartbroken and will never be the same. Evan Afton deserved to hallucinate. Tata, please shut up. If the Aftons are really British, though, why is it that the animatronics have American accents? First off, be nice to the British, they're great. We love Dalco, we support the British on this channel. Second off, this man's a genius for pointing out if they're British, why do the animatronics have American accents? It's okay, but I will admit I was a bit bummed at the story for the fact he refuses to open the box. And so was the FNAF community and has since been insane. For my taste, this is as interesting as making a cup of tea. Except with tea, you are rewarded with a hot drink. It only takes a minute. There's no gameplay, no strategy, no thought. You stay in a room, use three buttons, and endure jump scares. No really jump scares. That's it. Okay, time for tea. Uh, 
sure, man, you can have your opinion, but whenever you make tea, I hope you microwave it. This man said to buy FNAF 1 instead. Buy 1 do that. I heard it has some pretty bad reviews. Hearing Simulator. No, it's not Hearing Simulator. That's another game in the franchise. 50,000 IQ anti-piracy, Scott. Why do people confess their crimes to Scott? <laughs> Beware, ye who enters abandon all hope. Actually, in Dante, it's abandon all hope, all ye who enters. If you're going to quote Dante, get it right. It's that time again to mention that if you help me reach 1,000 subs by Christmas, I will eat seaweed and, uh, yeah, that's, that's it short self promo literally the best one in the franchise gun cawthon has outdone himself skunt cawthon skirty with the r i do not allow he's like a brick wall he will just not allow why am i in my house that is a great question the direction audio is non-existent. Uh, I do agree, it's, <laughs> it's non-existent. Game was fun, until it started trying to access my printer. Uh, I would get that printer checked out fast before it starts printing pictures of Freddy Fazbear. Especially if they were made by the community. I hated this game, so I refunded it to get LEGO GTA. Uh, enjoy LEGO City Undercover, my dude. This game is the best game I've ever played. Here, let me just... Ah, that's better. This game sucks. I don't give a dollar to creator of this vile abomination. Uh, considering the game costs $8, I think you do give a dollar to the creator of this foul abomination. Why can't I just close the doors? This man, he's a genius. He solved how to beat all the FNAF games. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed as much as I did, and uh, thank you all so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.